Hi, I'm Joni Petrie, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Well, today I'm going to go over what you can expect for the entire year of 2024 if your ascendant or your moon sign sits in Aries. Now, remember, I am doing the sidereal Vedic astrology, not tropical Western. Do not try to incorporate that into this. Now, if you don't know your Vedic sidereal ascendant or your moon sign, then go to my website, galacticcenter.org, and there I have a free chart calculator. You can put in all of your information and there, go all the way to the bottom, and it will clearly tell you AS, which is your ascendant sign, and MO, which is your moon sign. And I want you to listen to both of them, because the ascendant is what's actually happening, but the moon is so important, because it's what you're feeling. So very important. While you're there at my website, remember to check out my Patreon page. Go to my Patreon page, Joni Petrie, and you will see all of the opportunities and discounts, free readings and, and books and discounts on my jewelry that you can receive. So uh, one more thing while you're there, don't forget to sign up for my free newsletter where you will get all of my predictions delivered free to your email address. So let's proceed talking about the sign of Aries. What Aries can expect for this year of 2024? Well, Aries has been going through some monumental changes this year as well because Jupiter and Uranus are in your first house. They will be in your first house all the way till this May. And so all the way through May, you can expect monumental changes that are going on for you. Your whole life is changing. You feel more optimistic, more futuristic. You feel like changing everything to do about your appearance and your persona, how you dress, your hair. You're a different person, but you're coming out with a new founded confidence. And most of all, opportunities will be yours. They're coming your way. This is for Aries. Now, Saturn's been in your 11th house, will continue be, to be throughout this year. And you're really sorting through your friends. You're really discovering who is really your friends and or maybe you've just outgrown old friendships and it's time for new ones. But during this year, you're gonna find a little bit more loneliness in terms of friends. You just don't resonate with your old friends anymore. So take your time, be aware that this is the year that you're gonna really discover who's your friends and who is not your friends. Now, if you have an older sibling, you might find that this is a year that you're more distant. There seems to be just not as much connection or you just don't feel the same. Something's changed in that relationship as well. Now, Rahu and Ketu have just changed for you. So Rahu is now in your 12th house and Ketu's in your 6th. So this is a time of deep inner reflection. You might find, though, because things are changing a lot in the workforce, the people that you work with, or even if you have your own business, your employees, people aren't showing up the same. They're kind of leaving you hold in the bag so you've got to do more work on your own without a lot of assistance or help. And this causes you to have to work harder, but it just doesn't feel good, the support you've been getting in the workplace. And another thing, you have really have to watch your health because with K2 crossing into your sixth house, you might find there's some health issues that you have an address that will reemerge. And sometimes they may be health issues that you can't put your finger on. You don't feel well, but you don't know why. And this will be the case. You're just not able to find things, but it could actually be that you're having 
problems with allergies, things in your environment or things you eat. There's just something that's not working. Go get it checked out, but the chances are it'll be very, very hard to detect. Now with Rahu in your 12th house, you might find that you're going to be traveling more, going to foreign places, connecting with foreigners more. But all at the same time, sleep becomes very difficult. You might find that you're not being able to fall asleep at night, you wake up, and mainly I think you're worried a little bit about the workplace. And if that's not the case, then this lack of sleep is going to be affecting your health. So they go hand in hand, the work, the health, and the ability to rest and sleep. It's very important that you try to get as much rest as you possibly can. Now, starting May and June, when Jupiter will shift signs and Uranus by June, there's going to be a big change for you financially. And this is a good thing because Jupiter is going to be in your second house for an entire year from May of 2024 through May of 2025. And this is going to increase your ability to make money, to be <clears throat> more productive, successful, and you might find that money comes suddenly, unexpectedly, and sometimes where you least expect it. But you're going to be so much more prosperous during this time period, and you'll invent and find new ways to make money. Now, all at the same time, you're going to find that family matters become important, where you're going to be more and more connected to family, and having family get-togethers, a healing will come through family matters. And this is all what needs to happen. So coming together with family, and this is also going to make you more productive in some way. Maybe a family member helps you out with your finances or business that makes it more productive and more successful. <laughs> Now, another thing is with Jupiter being in your second house, remember it's a time for you to find your voice, that you're going to be speaking out about the things you believe in. And this is a time to develop your speech, to know what to say, when to say it, and also what you eat. Remember I said there was something about your health that needed to be looked into. And this can pertain to something possibly that you're, you're eating, that maybe you have allergies to. Maybe this is a cause and a reason why something's not working so well with your digestion and the foods you eat. So watch your diet. This is a time that I believe you're gonna be changing your diet, your nutrition, maybe going to a nutritionist to figure out why the health matters that are happening are in effect, so I would say get checked out, but change your diet, pay attention to the foods you're eating. This can make a world of difference in your health and your healing and how you feel. So family matters are good, money matters are about to improve, and you'll improve your diet, therefore making yourself much healthier. Watch out for those friends that you don't trust they're going to go by the wayside. Don't let any friends drain your energy this year because if they do, it's time to let that friendship go. In other words, it doesn't serve you anymore. And with the, Ju with the Jupiter Rahu shift from the first, you're going to find that everything that you invested in you for self-improvement, and opportunities is going to pay off financially by the second part of this year of 2024. This is going to be your year that you make it and you make a big change financially and you'll make a change in your health and feel a lot better. But remember, family is everything. The second part of the year, you'll discover that. So with that, I think I'd like to close. Now, if you would like to learn Vedic Astrology, remember this. I am starting my semester one for the University of Vedic Astrology 
February 7th. So look into that, get ready. It's time to learn astrology and you can be my student. So with that, thank you.